72 days ago, following the Dolphins' Week 6 loss to Jacksonville in London, yours truly came on this channel, and in a profanity-laced tirade, amongst other things, yours truly stated the following. Number one, that I had just endured the most sickening, embarrassing, gut-punching loss that I have ever witnessed in my 38-plus years as a Miami Dolphins fan. That stance has not changed. Two, that everybody from Brian Flores and Chris Greer all the way down to the water boy should be fired on the tarmac at Heathrow Airport in London. Well, I've softened on that a little bit. Three, the mere concept of making the playoffs was the most laughable fucking thing I've ever heard. More on that in a couple of minutes. Four, I felt there was a very, very good chance that this team would lose their remaining games and wind up with a top three pick that, by the way, would be flipped to Philadelphia as a result of the Jalen Waddell trade. More on that in a few minutes. The team proceeded to lose its next two games to Atlanta and Buffalo, respectively, to where I made a couple of videos about both of those games. My last one, I mockingly stated that at least I had some optimism because at least against Buffalo, they didn't get shut out and blown out as badly as they did in week two. Since then, however, something's happened along the way. Now, in case you missed it and the 72,000 mentions that happened following their victory over New Orleans yesterday on Monday Night Football, the Dolphins have won seven in a row. First team in NFL history to do that, to lose their first, to lose seven in a row and win seven in a row. By the way, the Dolphins now are the number seven seed in the AFC playoffs. They control their own destiny. All they got to do to make the playoffs is win their next two. Going to be easy? Absolutely not. And by no means are their next two opponents pushovers. They've got Tennessee this week, and then they've got New England. But frankly, had you told me they would even be close to being in this position, even at the beginning of November, I'd have laughed you out of the fucking room. But since then, they've absolutely turned the corner. The defense, since that Buffalo game, has given up an average of just 11 points a game. Tua, ever since the team refused to make a trade and overpay for Deshaun Watson, has really turned the corner as well. Leads the NFL in completion percentage. Really looks like a team leader out there. Jalen Waddell, their first round pick, who they moved up, down, and around to get, is going to finish the season with over 100 receptions. Yesterday became the first receiver, rookie receiver, since Jerry Rice, we all know how good he turned out to be, to have a Monday night outing with over 10 catches. Going to get strong consideration for rookie of the year. Jalen Phillips, 8.5 sacks. Javon, ha uh, Javon Holland, another rookie, second round pick this year out of Oregon. Complete ball hawk. Don't let him know I said this. Chris, Chris Greer, at least with those first three picks I mentioned, has had a hell of a draft. Now, granted, the verdict's still out on Liam Eikenberg, and um, you know Hunter Long has played as many games as I have, but those three picks look like strong ones. The defense looks good. The offense, at least in the passing side, has looked proficient. Mac Hollins has made some nice catches out there. Granted, it hasn't all been sunshine and rainbows. That offensive line still sucks. The running game has been very shaky. I mean, Duke Johnson looked very good in his first game, was, uh, you know, ripped off a couple of good runs yesterday, but uh, still, you know, they got a long way to go. But this team looks a hell of a lot better than it did against Jacksonville. Looks a hell of a lot better than it did against Atlanta. I can't ask for much more than what I've got. And I will gladly eat crow, guys. Gladly. I don't thrive on seeing this team fail. I'm not one of these fans that wants to see the Miami Dolphins lose. I know there are some out there that this team could win and win big and people would still bitch and moan. And there are some online now that are still doing this. They've won seven in a row. Oh, oh, they're beating shitty teams. Well, you know what? One of those shitty teams, by the way, that they beat, the Houston Texans, just beat the Chargers. Just beat Justin Herbert, who everybody sucks the cock of in Miami. So... I'll take the wins where I get them. We got two games coming up, Tennessee and New England. Win them both, they're in the playoffs. 
they could wind up with a as high as a five seed. Actually, if luck falls their way, this team could win the AFC East. Now, I'm not counting on it. They're going to need some help from Buffalo. Buffalo's going to have to lose their next two. Uh, they, and they got the Jets in Atlanta coming up. I'm not counting on it. But stranger shit has happened. Hell, the fact that the Dolphins are here, it, it leads me to believe that this team has been very lucky and turned a corner. So I won't rule it out entirely, but I'd say there's about a 2% chance that the Dolphins win the division. But they went out. That's the first step. One of those wins would be against New England, and they'd, they'd have a sweep of the season series. That's one step. Let's get there. Let's get there, and let's make the playoffs, and we'll see how it goes. In terms of uh, upcoming matchup, I mean, look, Tennessee minus Derrick Henry, a very beatable team. Put pressure on Ryan Tannehill, and he struggles. That's been his M.O. his entire damn career. I mean, A.J. Brown, a very, very solid wide receiver, but they've got the Hawks to stop him. Make Julio Jones and their other receivers beat him. They can't. New England, they won on a stretch of games where they were looking pretty damn good. But Mac Jones is starting to hit that rookie wall. And we know the Dolphins have had a level of success against the Patriots in Miami. Even if they wind up 9-7, and seven, guys, I was not expecting this at all. When they lost to Jacksonville, I was expecting the absolute worst. I think 10-6 and six is very possible. And then when we, if they make the playoffs, again, I'm not putting the cart before the horse. I won't do it. But... If they make the playoffs, there are quite a few favorable matchups. Quite a few. Now, I don't like their chances against a team like Cincinnati. I don't like their chances against a team like Kansas City who can air it out. But there's a chance they can get Tennessee again. There's a chance they can get New England again. I know people say, well, good luck beating Bill Belichick three times in the same year. Good luck beating Bill Belichick in the playoffs. I get that. But there's something going on with this team. Seven-game winning streak, by the way, the first time that's happened since 1985. I take back all the negative shit I said about Brian Flores. I really do. I'm not ashamed to admit I was wrong. Like I said, I don't root for this team to fail. And I'm not ashamed to admit I was wrong. And I was wrong. I was wrong back in October. But I'm looking forward to see what happens next. As I said, even if they even if they go in and they go nine and seven and just miss the playoffs, I'm content because after that Jacksonville loss, I expected the absolute worst, and they they pleasantly surprised me. Anyway, I'm out.